putting pieces together to assemble motorbikes. This is Gatoma, a local business enterprise specialized in assembling motorbikes. State House advisor on investment, Jito Kayumba, toured the facility and is happy with what he has found. The tax rate has to come down for the importation of the parts. So that's ultimately what we're looking at to help incentivize growth in this business so they can reinvest, produce more, sell at a cheaper price point for the local community. It will help stimulate local economic activity for farmers who are their biggest uh, uh, customers, but then also for export purposes. Mr. Kayumba later rode on one of the bikes to another local enterprise supplying desks to government with funding from Constituents Development Fund. This is beautiful to see what's being actualized on the ground, that you've got a policy that has decentralized resources, taking it to the people, to where, where it belongs, and they themselves are addressing challenges. We are over 10 here. We are being assisted by CDF through these empowerments uh, uh, and, and projects as well. The, last week we delivered 152 desks, so today we are delivering 105 desks. Next week we'll be delivering 146 days. That in itself means well with regards to the increase in the city because that's what it means because this is more of a cooperative of the youths forming together and then putting up all these desks, handing them over to uh, Debs. Earlier, Mr. Kayumba interacted with a group of mobile money vendors where I assured them of government support. But we are planning to form a cooperative for ourselves where we can ask for empowerment from the government that's so that they can help us with more funds so that we can grow our business. When demand exceeds uh, supply, it means that you can you know, bridge it by having the resource, right? So this is why capital comes in. So I have good news for you all. Um, we definitely will help you. Mr. Kayumba is in Eastern Province, accompanied by government communication specialist Henry Kapata, to check on government-funded projects and appreciate the efforts of private firms in growing the economy. McFarstone Mukukam, ZNBC News, Chipata, Eastern Province.